Welcome back everybody. Today we'll continue our series on home automation and today we'll look at getting your infrared devices such as TV, you know, AC or any device which has a little remote control, infrared remote control. We'll look at how to, we can get them connected to Google and use voice to control them. So for this test, what I have here is I have a candle, so it's a uh, infrared candle and we can turn it on and off with with the remote. I have a switchboard hub here. Uh, that's a hub which converts basically the Wi-Fi signal into infrared signal. And I have a Google Mini right here. So to start with, you need to get the uh, switchboard connected to Google. So to do that, you simply go into Google Home app, uh, add a new device, select the switchboard, uh, enter your login name, password, and it will sync the device to your Google Home app. Once that is done, uh, you'll be able to use voice to control any devices connected to the switchboard. So, how do we actually get the switchboard to learn the remote? And this is the interesting part. So what we'll do is we'll go into our switchboard app. We'll go into hub, right? And we'll go add appliance. So here you can see there's quite a lot of appliances you can add from air conditioning, you know, TV, slides, DVDs, fans, projectors, etc. And it has a lot of predefined stuff. So if what you're adding is something in the list, it should automatically pick it up and mirror the remote. Because obviously candle is not something in the list, we'll have to manually configure it. So we'll go here to customize it. And it brings up the generic remote control, which if you look at it, relatively similar to what our remote is. So for this test, we'll just use on off buttons. Uh, we won't do all the buttons, but it, the, the same principle applies to everything. So let's start by uh, configuring the on button. So we'll click on here and it comes up with a start menu. So you click start. You can see the hub flash green. So now we press on on the remote and hub flashes green one more time and the menu comes up basically saying that it's been paired and we can test it. So I know it's been paired, so I'll just click save, uh, test and then save. Now we'll do the same for off button. So we'll click on off and we'll go start, it flashes green. Then we take the remote, we push off and it flashes green again, basically saying that it's should have flown right okay so uh, it's a timeout so let's try again so we'll click off start then we'll push the off button it goes green and now it's safe. so we go test safe so now as you can see the both button on and off went blue so it's basically saying it's configured and we can test it by clicking on test and you can see the light went on and off test and the candle went off right so we'll click ok we'll give the device a name we we'll call it candle ok so it's updating it so as you can see now it's in a device here right so the next step is, is we need to get it into our Google Home app. And as we all know, it's relatively simple. We go into Google Home. Uh, you can use Google Mini or you can just use this one. You can click this one and say Sync Devices. And now Google sure. will sync Syncing all the devices. Sure, devices for Ewelink Smart Home, SwitchBot Smart Home and Smart Life. Okay, so it's done and we should see candle in our device list. So we'll go to candle here. We'll uh, 
edit uh, room so we'll put it into the living room so it's edit and if we go into living room we can see candle here and now we should be able to use voice uh, we can do it through here if, if we want to so we can say living room candle on And the candle went on. And if we want to use our Google Home Mini, we'll just go, hey Google, living room candle off. Okay, turning the candle off. Thank you. I aim to please. Okay, and that's it. Now we can control our candle uh, using voice with Google. So it's that simple, um, and obviously you can furthermore add all the other buttons and it will work just as well so as you can see using simple hub you can start controlling your infrared devices at home and it's actually quite useful especially you know like I use it for decoration for candle and some other lights which I have remotes for I haven't tried it with anything like TV or a fan but I'm sure I'll give it a try one day and so that's about it for now enjoy as always I will put the description and full project write-up uh, on our website and I'll put the link in the description of the video and if you like the video if you found it useful please subscribe it always helps and we'll see you soon thank you